We all have those cravings for a little something sweet. Yeah, but are we really powerless over sugar? Dr. Kim Mulvihill shows us the science behind the sugar fix. There's no doubt Americans love the sweet stuff. We consume more sugar and sweeteners than any other country in the world. But at what point does a sweet tooth become a sweet fix? Some researchers believe too many sugars can hijack the brain, stoke the appetite, and lead to chronic overeating. It becomes a vicious cycle that keeps going and going. Pediatric endocrinologist Dr. Robert Lustig of UCSF. People are going to come back for more and more. And former FDA commissioner Dr. David Kessler, also of UCSF, believes certain foods containing sugars can actually alter the way the brain is supposed to work. There are very specific effects of sugar on the reward center of the brain. Dr. Lustig says the problem is fructose, a molecule found in sugar and sweeteners. He says if you binge on sweets, all that fructose unleashes a surge of dopamine in the brain. Right dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a major role in addiction. You need more dopamine neurotransmission, and the only way to do that is by consuming more food. As for Dr. Kessler, he believes it's not just sugars, but processed foods and drinks loaded and layered with sugars, fats, and salt that are the problem. He calls it conditioned hypereating. What we see is areas of the brain become activated, the dopamine levels rise, and they don't habituate, they don't shut off. Leading to chronic overeating that's feeding an obese nation. The Sugar Association says sugar is not addictive and that the claim is a myth and that dopamine is released whenever you consume any food or beverage, even sugar-free sodas. The Corn Refiners Association says don't blame them. Rather than saying, well, gee, you know, we're eating too much and we're not active enough, it's very convenient to try to find a smoking gun. It's very convenient to say, well, it must be high fructose corn syrup. Uh, it's convenient but wrong. Dr. Kim Mulvihill, KSL 5 News. Some people may wonder how artificial sweeteners fit into all of this. Dr. Kim Mulvihill says you can save calories by using them, but that won't stop your brain from seeking out the real stuff. She says some studies have linked diet soda consumption with obesity, uh, metabolic syndrome, and also cardiovascular disease.